Why shouldn't I run a stereo on a UPS? The question comes from George in Bangalore, India. And uh, George writes, Dear Paul, when I bought an AV receiver, which is a Yamaha 202, it had a warning saying, no warranty if powered on a UPS. I'm wondering, what happens when a receiver is powered from a UPS? Is it common that all receivers, say, including PS Audio, have that same warning? That's, uh, that's an interesting question. I have never seen such a warning on a piece of equipment, but I can imagine why. So let's talk about UPSs. So a UPS is an uninterruptible power supply kind of a fancy euphemism for battery backup. Most of our computer systems that we have have UPSs so that if the power goes out, our, our computer doesn't just die, right? And those basically have batteries inside and those batteries output 12, 24 volts and we need 120 volts, right? So how does that work? Well, those batteries then go through what we call an inverter, a power inverter. And it takes the 24 volts or the 12 volts DC and it jacks it up to where we want, 120 volts, and it turns it into AC because battery voltage doesn't run our equipment. Which is funny because inside our equipment, it's all battery voltage, which that's eh, a whole nother story. <laughs> if, by the way, if you've never seen my 50-minute video called Coal to Coal Train, we still have a number of copies in five-channel surround sound on a DVD that's free. You just get a hit. You just get a hold of us. Just write in free DVD and we'll send one to you in the States. I don't know that we do any international shipping. But anyway, Coal to Coal Train is also on YouTube. So if you look up Coal to Coal Train on YouTube on our YouTube channel, which you're watching right now somehow or other, you will find Coal to Coal Train. And the reason I bring that video up is, gosh, it must be eight years ago, I put together a really cool video that I spent a lot of time on explaining how all this works, the difference between batteries and AC, how AC is generated. We go out to a coal-fired power plant. We look at batteries, we go and we talk about the war between Tesla and Edison and we travel out to where the very first power plant in the United States out in Telluride. Go to Times Square, we go to Hoover Dam, it's pretty, it's fun. So if you have a chance, go see Coal to Coal Train, it explain a lot for you. In any case, if we have battery voltage, we need to up that voltage and then turn it from DC direct current into alternating current where it's going up and down 60 or 50 times a second. Now, the vast majority of UPSs do this very poorly. They, in order to save money, because most of them aren't very expensive, they put out what we would call a stepped sine wave, which is basically a series of square waves. <laughs> and it is ugly. Ugly, ugly, ugly. But a computer doesn't really care and you're not going to power it for too long. So those ugly sine waves in the right equipment isn't going to cause any damage. Not really a problem. And it only comes on when the power goes off. In a piece of high-end audio equipment or any kind of audio equipment, you probably don't want that. That, if it's not designed properly, could conceivably damage something. It certainly would sound like crap and you wouldn't want it. I've never heard of it actually damaging anything, but eh, whatever. So um, there are other kinds of UPSs which are called double conversion UPSs and they will have a decent looking sine wave that isn't that ugly stepped wave. And so if you're going to power your system or have one on it, you want to look for something that has low distortion sine wave output and they are more expensive but you can find those and I recommend to people that have power problems that they take one of our AC regenerators which put out really perfect power regardless of what you put into them and put the UPS a good one before this so just in case 
anything does go out and you have to go on the, on the battery power, that at least what you get out will be cleaned up by the power plant and that'll, that'll help. But that's the best I got. Sorry, I don't know why it would be damaged, but hopefully that helps your understanding. All right, thanks. And we will talk to you tomorrow.